The topic is a graph of daytime and sun angle. I think about using AI to research daytime and sun angle, solar angle. Because uh, daytime and solar angle shows uh, solar energy on the planet named uh, the Earth. Nowadays, uh, I heard the tropical areas from Manila and Hanoi or other tropical area is a high temperature about 40, more than 40 degree in daytime. So I am thinking about it. And now and today is the end of day of April and April 30. Uh, Summer solstice uh, is uh, on June 22. So and 50 days, almost 50 days left to go 90 degree angle to uh, northern uh, 23.3 degree. That is uh, northern Caprio. Mm. And then like uh, 23.3 degrees and then after 50 days, the solar angle is 90 degrees. So, and then each place has a daytime grape and then also it can also have a, a solar angle graph. It's kind of, this is, a, the annual process is a big one. It's similar with the calendar or time. And then lots of things we are impacted in the world. And when we understand nature, we should know about this path about annual process repeated. Uh, for example, daytime go to um, winter solstice, solstice uh, to summer solstice, and the angle of uh, sun also the decline and uh, increased, and then go back. And for example, and the my price is about northern hemisphere thirty. Uh, about six degree maybe sorry six degree it means uh, 36 degrees we have and then uh, the solar angle when the summer solstice is a high uh, portion of 23 and 36 uh, 130 so about the degree about uh, 67. 67 degree is the highest degree in summer solstice. After then, the decline, decline, decline. And then when the winter and the decline, the solar um, angle is uh, very low. Um, so and then uh, about the time and we can measure about time. For example, 67 degree we have, just so for example, and then go back to the um, autumn season. Autumn season goes to the uh, equator, the 90 degree. By then, and Equator 90 degree 36 is about uh, go down, go down 36 solar angle equator, and then in Korea 36 degree. My place is about 67 to um, 23, 23. Um,
The solar angle is uh, 44. And then go back to 23, 44. Even the solar angle in winter season, very lower. And 20, 44, um, 23 in winter solstice, uh, not sure. About go back to 44. And 23, 1 and 23, 11, 11 angle, uh, very low angle. Uh, uh, so, and then this, this uh, graph of solar angle is, is uh, also measured by annual. Also, how about the daytime? Daytime also depends on the angle and daytime. And the length of daytime is the maximum of uh, summer solstice. And then in here, 36 degrees, and normally daytime effects by every day uh, about 90 seconds. 90 seconds go down, go down, go down, and then and the longer, longer, and then less, less. And then uh, that is the, the paradigm of that. If I know about any place uh, at the latitude, knowing about with the graph and the solar angle and daytime graph, uh, knowing that, then and I can understand the, the seasonal process and also the solar energy that twice. So, and then I can check out climate that twice. Even I can know about weather. Also, we hear out uh, every day we got a uh, news from climate exchange, uh, climate uh, crisis uh, from that. The climate class crisis is the one thing. I think the solar energy more effective, even because of carbon dioxide, make uh, solar energy more stronger. By doing that, the energy is more effective. For example, and if we want price, uh, if we have uh, um, that price uh, uh, glass house, the inside of a glass house can get lots of energy from the solar energy. So, and then very heated, it's the same. Solar energy is, uh, at out out of our planet is the same, but the situation of planet, uh, so sometimes solar energy is strong, sometimes solar energy weaker. But the process of daytime and solar angle is always the same. So, and then we should know about the uh, annual process, knowing about uh, where we live, like uh, Antarctic, Arctic, also the tropical area, primate area, uh, tundra, or some place, and even the desert zone, some or the ocean-based uh, continent, the big island. We can understand about knowing about the daytime graph and the solar angle graphs. So it's, uh, I try to use uh, AI to know about that uh, pattern. This is a uh, uh, preference of daytime and graph of daytime and graph of solar angle to understand our planet, each tropical area, especially and the, from the climate uh, change and uh, we can understand uh, more our planet better.
Today's topic is about daytime and sun angle. I'm considering using AI to research daytime and solar angle because they show solar energy on Earth. Nowadays, I've heard that tropical areas like Manila and Hanoi, among others, experience high temperature or over 40 degrees Celsius during the daytime. Today is marked at the end of April with the summer solstice occurring on June 22. So there are almost 50 days left until we reach a 90 degree angle to the northern 23.3 uh, so after these 50 days the solar angle will be 90 degrees so each place has its own daytime duration and it can also be represented graphically along with the solar angle this is an annual process similar to calendar or timeline which impact the various aspects of our world Understanding nature requires the knowledge of these annual processes which are repetitive. For example, daytime varies from the winter solstice to the summer solstice, and the angle of the sun also changes, increasing and declining. For instance, in my location in Northern Hemisphere, the solar angle is about 6 degrees during the summer solstice, reaching its peak at upper max approximately 67 degrees. However, it gradually declines after the solstice. During winter, the solar angle is significantly lower. For instance, during the winter solstice, it may drop to around 23 degrees, which is quite low. The graph of solar angles can be measured by anyone as well as daytime duration. Daytime duration is influenced by the angle of the sun, with the maximum occurring during the summer solstice. Normally, the length of daytime decreases gradually over time, then increases again. This is a paradigm. By knowing, by knowing the latitude of the place and understanding its daytime duration and the solar angle, we can confront its season and process as well as the solar energy it receives. Understanding this pattern is crucial, especially in tropical areas amidst the climate change. Solar energy becomes more effective due to increased carbon dioxide levels. For example, in a glass house, solar energy can be harnessed efficiently for heating. Although the intensity of solar energy varies, the process of daytime and the solar angle remain constant. Therefore, understanding this annual process is essential for understanding our planet's climate across various regions, from the Antarctic to the Arctic. Tropical area, tundra, desert, and oceanic region. By the analyzing the time duration and the solar angle, we can gain deeper insight into our planet's climate and environmental changes. That is great. Wow.